Thank you. 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 Th
Don Kesterman, who is a member of the Modifications Committee that works closely with the ARC, has been approved as the newest ARC member. The board has established a new committee, the Safety and Preparedness Committee, to identify and make recommendations to matters related to our residents and well being of the community at large, as related to traffic, other safety issues, disaster preparedness, theft, vandalism, trespassing, and other issues. We're hopeful this new committee can tackle some of the difficult situations that we haven't been able to enforce very well in the past. You'll hear more about this new committee during the board meeting, and if you blast will be released, invite members to volunteer for the committee. The holidays are upon us, and the board hopes you enjoy safe travels and happy gatherings with friends and family. Our next board meeting is January 19th. <laughs> the next item would normally be the reading of the Treasury. Treasurer's report. There is no treasurer's report this month. We will pick it up in January. Why? Because the financials are not ready, because Guatemala has not completed the financials yet due to their year end close, trying to get everything ready for year end close. And so typically, the financials come in the third week of the month. And the third week of the month is next week, which is Thanksgiving week. And so uh, we're early anyway. I may get it next week, it's that third week of the month, but it won't make any difference. I'll do a trust report for you when I get the financial. And you'll post it. And I will post it. Oh, yes, along with the financial. Okay, on to the committee reports. The first report will be the ABCPOA, read by Larry May. A discussion of these in the following minutes that came from that uh, group. Uh, Hold the beach permits for road paving and back lanes are delayed until spring 2023. It was mentioned that there is a group fighting growth in the county. County argument is that property owners should be able to do what they want when they want with their vacant property development. Kim Moores is suing the Environmental Protection Agency and threatening the EQ because Kim Moores can't meet their deadline for remediation. An updated list of county road projects and their status uh, have been provided. Brunswick County Property mm -hmm. Reassessments 23. This is the top of it. In 2023, uh, Brunswick County will be conducting a, and this is important, will be conducting a countywide property evaluation or reevaluation with the results reflected in your property tax bill next summer. This was mentioned at our recent Voice to Harbor board meeting uh, on October 20th by Donna and via e blast October 28th. On Friday, November the 4th, Two of the ABC POA representatives met with Steve Stone, the Brunswick County Manager, to discuss the county reevaluation that is currently in process. In the course of this conversation, Steve mentioned that the county will be engaging in a public information program concerning this reevaluation. The ABC POA indicated willingness to assist in the program by offering the opportunity for Steve and his staff to attend the ABC POA annual meeting on December the 14th. We readily agree, and with this staff, will be added to the agenda for that evening. There will be an ongoing effort for the ABC POA to stay abreast of the latest reevaluation process. I will continue to share additional information as it becomes available. Don Miguel. Next is the ARC, Thank you, Julie. Uh, as you can tell, driving right through the community, the office is pretty busy the last 18 months if not two years. Uh, presently, we have about 35 homes in various stages. Let me just go through and summarize the stages they're in. Uh, uh -huh. so we have uh, 28 homes under construction, two homes just completed their final inspection, that's 30. Three homes with CFOs waiting for final inspection, that's 33. And I heard through the grapevine, that there are two homes coming in either by the end of this week, which would be tomorrow or early next week, which would make 35 homes. So we've been busy. In addition, the community requests have been due to Ian, multiple trees to be removed from damaging due to the storm, a request to paint the exterior of the house, request to install a new roof, and a request for a temporary greenhouse. And I'd just like to mention if there's anything that you need done, uh, Exterior-wise, please let us know. We'll be uh, quick and, uh, to get it approved for you. 
And then in, uh, in special recognition, the author would also like to recognize a dead. On behalf of the community and the author, we would like to recognize Deb Goldman, who has six years of service on the o OHR. His contributions to restore the aesthetic beauty of our community, along with his commitment to retain our guidelines, is distinguished and notable. We honor his request to resign and wish him well. Thank you. Thank you. Next, closing box. Can I step up there? As I'm as I am public speaking. Most of this has been shared by Bruce Baker, so I'll let you know when Bruce comments and the morning start. Uh, current ongoing activities and project status survey parcel next to both storage area. Uh, East Coast Engineering is preparing stormwater plan modifications, working on uh, boat weight usage restrictions for the boat ramp. Uh, that's we're working with the engineer on that. Replace safety ladder at the dock. Uh, add bumper guards to finger docks. Repair broken gussets at the end of the first dock. Activity <coughs> projects got blessed, completed since last report to the board. All medical construction completed the repairs to the boat ramp with great success. The boat ramp is now, God bless you all, open. <laughs> he didn't say that, did uh, I told you I'm not used to public speaking. Thank you very much. Uh, activities projects plan to start the next, within the next six months. Uh, uh, expand boat storage area. Continue to monitor the status of the boat ramp. Budget issue. Current operating budget issue requesting $2,000 repairs to the finger docks. Reserve budget issues. Boat ramp replacement, which is unfunded. Uh, committee purpose membership change. None. That's where Bruce ends and I commit. I continue. Uh, the Boat Docks Committee has worked closely uh, with the previous and current board uh, to open the use of our boat ramp. Uh, we have had uh, some unfortunate delays and setbacks, but no one quit. Everyone put forth the ultimate effort. Bottom line, the boat ramp is open. Thank you to everyone involved and to all Osa Harbor residents for their sometimes tough understanding me being one of them. Uh, and just a public announcement, I'm probably the wrong place. We have a Friday night social. We meet down at the Marina Park. <laughs> they bring cocktails if you want. You don't have to order. You don't have to do one. We did it at five. We're going to move it back at four o'clock. Doesn't matter what time you get there. Doesn't matter how long you stay. Everyone's welcome. Please pass the word. Bring your relatives, your friends, your guests. Not too many dogs, but you're all welcome. Excuse me, Thank you. Yeah, are we're still waiting on furniture for the front. So as soon as the furniture arrives, we'll meet and see the plans we did to the board of directors for our next phase, which will include additional furnishings and artwork for the clubhouse, some storage and patio deck. Uh, chair rail upholstering is in progress and three new cushions are here on the fireplace. Um, and then we already have a fabric on hand for the tan furniture reupholstering project, and that will begin soon. Um, activities and projects for the next six months. We plan to work with structures and grounds on a proposal for kitchen renovation and expansion of the kitchen and storage room. Uh, we have no budget issues at the present and no membership changes. Thank you, Thank you. Well, those of you who have already given your report, may I have a please? These are my notes in handwriting. 
I spent 30 years in third grade. I, I got it. Okay, uh, covering our uh, areas of responsibility for metrics, we did uh, this we go off to this last report last month. 13 web updates, added six new users, sent out 21 email chain messages, uh, zero issues of referral, and holding one new meeting. Projects completed since last report. Uh, Presented a store man document uh, to the DOD for a document release process uh, to, to the website. Uh, met with the board and Wacom management to discuss user management and other topics to be continued at the end of this month. Um, projects starting in the next six months, still working with our website provider, awesome website guys, to fix some calendar issues. Uh, I've proposed some changes to them to our homepage so registered users will come directly into breaking news rather than into the picture uh, display. Um, working on procuring a stand up mic for these meetings, uh, working on cleaning up our email database, uh, establishing a better process for releasing documents to the website. And as I've said, we explore making breaking news more visible, uh, which might be a, a potential new theme uh, for our website. Budget issues. Um, I think we just approved spending additional money for the Zoom licenses. We're looking at the cost of a laptop uh, for use by both the board and the communications committee. So is there a budget issue? None. Uh, Committee changes. We've already talked about the addition of Jim and Llewellyn, and we do need someone who has an interest in the OIP referral because uh, that the editor, uh, Barbara Gleason, has stepped down from that position. Thank you. Facilities planning. What I do is I you have to see the view that version of the study and and I received a response on Monday. Um, and we, we spoke on phone, we resolved the questions that we have tomorrow. You know, we have a FPC meeting on set at 10 o'clock to review the revised draft, which I'm going to add is far more achievable, if you will, than the previous one. Okay. okay. Uh, other than that, we're just puzzling along and I'm getting out of the way. Once that's done, once we have our meeting with the FPC, uh, we will see if we board. And get with their input as well. So we have to decide that. I don't know if they do that, but I have an idea of myself. So we're all going to go somewhere in the middle. We're kind of dealing with the accounting side. We can extend that. We can talk to the first book at that point. The board. Okay. Any other questions on the board? But I'm, I'm looking at the uh, revised draft. Um, I'm far more optimistic than I was after the first draft. So, yeah. Thank you. When do you anticipate the uh, town hall meeting possibly coming? Yeah, as soon as we can, if, once we discuss it, and if we have any other questions that we might need to bounce back um, to the engineer. Uh, the board might have some questions. Um, so, you know, it depends on the time. We can get that done in early December, and perhaps we can have it in December. Mm -hmm. But that it, it's not, it, it will have to be done. Okay. Dave, what, what did you mean by the revised thing that's much more achievable? The biggest, the biggest change between the original and the revised. The whole replacement of the boat dock. 
okay. which in the original in the original study we put two point five million dollars much bad money. Yeah. Um in discussing that with uh members of the board and you know others um we found that that two point five million is way too <laughs> out of the out of the water. And you know uh, we think a uh, uh, estimate of two fifty to five hundred is more reasonable, which makes everything uh, and you know the uh, the records and the uh, expectations are a lot more reasonable. Okay. Good. Uh but if one please. Anyone else be for the questions to the end? Well, I let that one go because I want oh, okay. for it because it involved a lot of money. So I wonder what that one go. Yeah, we mentioned the point about the yeah. the very same uh, meeting with uh, the director of the many chairs. There's going to be your again how this process for it. Yeah, we'll have to bring up seeing the presentation by the joint yes. study. Yes, and in addition to the board members seeing the reserve study, the uh, committee chairs will also see it because a lot of it pertains to them. And it's just going to tie it all together. You just have to work out the timing of all the things. Okay, uh, next landscaping. Tom, are you doing it or are you doing it? I'm here. Okay. Okay, well, the landscaping committee is my wife, Lauren, me, and John Iden. But anyway, uh, there's not a lot of new information or activity to report on landscaping since the last meeting, the last report. And that's because we're kind of going into what the uh, landscaping company calls their off season. Uh, but they are meeting our expectations. They're doing exactly what we pay them to do. And oftentimes they exceed our expectations. There are times they do things that are not actually within the contract. But they are uh, continuing to maintain any grass cutting, but that, that season is kind of over with. Uh, any hedge trimming, they will continue to do. And since it is their off season for grass cutting and hedge trimming, they begin focusing on what they call hard edging of the uh, streets. And uh, that's a pretty lengthy process. There's a lot of mileage in here. So they begin focusing on that and they begin focusing on the pond. Uh, any maintenance, removal of pine trees, or what are those called? Or, uh, wax birds. And they, uh, the owner of, of, of Colorado Lawn Care, who is Matt Cation, met with the board this afternoon, and we discussed for probably an hour what the specific expectations would be of each individual pond. And Matt will meet with uh, Danny and me one day next week to do a survey, a uh, visit of each pond, so we make sure they know exactly what is to be done. Thank you. Uh, next is member orientation, and that would be me. So, current ongoing activity projects review the survey collected at October 18th event. Follow up committee meetings scheduled for the beginning of December to review last event and plan next one. Meet with Clubhouse Renovation Committee to figure out where to hang the framed picture of the board. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom? <laughs> October 18th, 2022 event in five households, 11 individuals attending out of 43 invited. Um, it is updated the um, website with the following documents, the welcome letter, takeaway at a glance, activities, amenities, committees, and community reminders. Activities projects planned to start within the next six months. Next event to be determined in the spring of 2023 and locked captain Budget issues. Current operating budget issues. We have a balance of $65.80, which we will not be using before the new fiscal year. We suggest that it be put towards the purchase of the new microphone the communication committee needs for Zoom meetings and other events. Reserve budget issues now. And this was prepared by Dean George and Marianne Eisen. Um, Pounds of pounds of pounds, is anyone doing that? I guess I am. Any wonder? Okay, give this yes, All right, pounds and pounds. The McGowan's are on vacation, so here I am. Current ongoing activities all of the fountains 
and fountain light timers have been adjusted for Eastern Standard Time. The fountain lights on Wood Duck Pond are not working. Our maintenance company has been notified and are scheduled to be on site on the 10th to check out the lights. I don't know if that was done. Um, something I can check on. Riprap is required at some line ponds in very limited areas. The board has directed that the committee mark these limited areas on a map. And we're going to find this riprap number to correct some of those problems. Budget issues, there are none. Reserve budget issues, none. Very short. I have a short addendum to that. Okay. If you happen to be at either and you're walking the concrete path, be aware that the hornet's nest in that cedar tree is not straight to me. It's not a danger to anyone, it's high, but don't climb that tree. <laughs> <laughs> when, the, when it gets cooler, we'll take care of it. And the tree guy says, please don't ask me to do that. Social committee. <laughs> Current ongoing activities will continue to meet monthly and our last meeting was November 10th, 2022. Activities project completed. <laughs> Halloween party with live music provided by the Home Parlay took place on 10 29 from 7 to 10. Members supplied snacks and their own beverages. Most stretched up and they were prizes awarded for best costume. Harvest Soup Day was on 11 12 and was well attended, and many different and delicious soups were provided by members. Activities projects planned to start within the next six months. The community decorating is scheduled for Monday, December 5th at 10 a.m. All members of the community are invited to assist the social committee on structuring grounds with this annual endeavor. Lunch will be provided, and that's um, decorating inside here and also outside on the gates and trees and whatnot. The annual Christmas party, golf cart parade, and cookie exchange will take place on Saturday, December 12th. Parade begins at 12.15 in the boat yard parking lot, and the party commences at 1 p.m. Watch the details. This year, the social committee is sponsoring a new project, which is on a star, led by Candy Christopherson. The committee has adopted a family and another child that we can provide gifts for. The committee has been invited to help with this, and the response has been tremendous. Thanks to Patty for suggesting this new idea. We are currently working on plans for New Year's Eve and sent a survey to members to help us with our efforts to provide a fun party. I believe Carl sent out an update on some of the surveys today. Hopefully, we all got that. Details will be out soon. The committee welcomes new ideas to provide our community with ways to get together and enjoy time with our neighbors. Feel, please feel free to contact us. Current operating budget issues, none as of 9.30. There was $1,162.38 remaining in our current budget. And as of 11, 15, 22, we have $78.25 cash on hand. Reserve budget issues, none. Structures and grounds. No, it's big. Okay, so uh, John is out of town and asked me if I would do this for him. Uh, our current activity project status, putting out and taking in clubhouse trash and recycling cans. Taking outdated tanks and storage areas of landfill, monitoring street light performance, maintaining guardhouse US and state flags. The activity <laughs> project completed since last report to the board. Identified wall light outage at the water park and worked with the liaison to fix it. Uh, that is the Orchard Harbor Wall, is what he's referring to. Identified entrance wall light, bad photo cell, and arranged to have it fixed. Met with total lawn care, along with landscaping care persons, provide them with irrigation systems. Part <laughs> found in a pool store versus disclosing them, and I'll elaborate on that. Uh, the committee and um, John and Tom were cleaning out the pool area, found a lot of parts that we had invested our dollars in, and we've actually traded that for work for them in the future. So they've got, we all went with being able to do that. Thank you guys for doing that. That's awesome. Um, proposed to make broken wall switch played in the exercise room. Uh, checked the working condition of the dehumidifier stored in the pool story and alerted the liaison, then stored the property, stored it properly. That has actually been moved and relocated to the guardhouse. We're considering the storage area, and that will work beautifully to protect us from over million in that facility, and it works great. Um, activities. Projects plan to start within the next six months. Work with the BOD on pool houses, storage expansion, 
the assistant board of directors on any major items where SMG has a skill on labor to do so. Consider changes to building in the pool storage room and optimize storage capacity during time of expansion. Project review. Work with the board of directors liaison to evaluate swells, culverts, and order department. Budget issue. Current operating budget issues none. Reserve budget issues none. Respectfully submitted. Okay, and the last item is the uh, crew report, which there is none, but I will tell you that the lot okay. owners who have trees down on them, the ones who do not live here, have been notified and waiting for responses. And with the trees removed and the trees don't get removed, we will follow the normal process of sending out letters with possible times. So, moving on, the next item of business is unfinished business. Last meeting, everyone who was here asked quite a few questions. We told you we'd record them and we answered them. So here goes. I'll get a bunch of answers for you. Unfinished business. The first one, the Waccamaw Addendum. An addendum to the Waccamaw Management contract between Oyster Harbor HOA and Waccamaw Management LLC was signed by the previous board of directors prior to the annual meeting. For several weeks before signing the addendum, that board had been in negotiations with Waccamaw Management who wanted to increase the hourly wage for the rate for the assistant community manager position. After several discussions among the board members, the board signed a Waccamaw addendum on the last day of their term. We felt this was the best deal for the situation at hand, that we could sign the addendum at that time and plan to reevaluate the situation early in 2023. After listening to the concerns of some members of the 10 2022 board meeting, the new board reviewed and discussed the addendum to management agreement dated 9722 and the new concept for ARB support dated 81121, portion of the Waccamaw management contract, and no changes to the contract will be made at this time. Next, guardhouse use for storage. The guardhouse will be used to store items that are now housed in the clubhouse act for security purposes. Some type of window covering will be added, and then we will told you about the dehumidifier and installing. Pool lights. Most of the pool exterior lights have been turned off for the season. Those underwater will remain on for safety reasons. Activities for kids. The social committee will review ideas for activities involving kids and determine what the kids would like, perhaps by survey, and get parental buy-in for participation. And we would expect the parents to definitely participate in that because we don't know what the kids want. And some of us, like me, I don't even sure. know who the kids are in it. The fishing policy. This will be revised and revisited in the first quarter of 2023. Stadium stop signs. Suggestions for enforcing or improving compliance will be deferred to the new safety and preparedness committee. Pet poop pickup. <laughs> An e-glass will be sent with reminders to pet owners. <clears throat> we no way to enforce it, and that's about the best we can do. Uh, workshop minutes. We have changed our workshop on this process. It's still under discussion. More to come on that. Um, boat, loss, boat lot expansion. The expansion is under review. I know you heard some of the boats and docks that, from Barry that we had an engineer looking at the stormwater drainage, and that's an option in the project. And we'll be up for some time. Fire pit. Survey will be sent to see if the members agree. Barry will work on it. Let's see what happens. Thank you. Um, Landscaping around ponds and berms. This is currently being reviewed with TLC. I know we had Danny and uh, Tom talk about the fact that TLC is going to walk around with them and look at all the ponds and determine what needs to be trimmed, what doesn't need to be trimmed, getting rid of the wax whirls and the pines, and we're moving forward on that. That should be done this winter, taken care of. Road repairs. This is a long-term project that we are currently looking at in conjunction with the just received 2022 draft research study. We'll have more on that in the first quarter of 2023 once we have had a chance to, reserve, to review the reserve study. Stormwater and culverts. Culverts have been looked at. My understanding, Dan has walked every one of the culverts to determine which ones are horrible, which ones not so horrible, and which ones might be fine. This is also a long-term project and they'll be repaired worst first. Arc feed, this will be revisited in the first quarter of 2023. The next order of business is new business. 
the first new business piece, volunteers for safety and preparedness committee. We're looking for motivated volunteers for the safety and preparedness committee. The committee will be involved in traffic and non-traffic safety issues, disaster preparedness, loss prevention, and rules compliance related to these issues. Please email Larry May if you're interested in becoming a member of this committee. Our committee member change, as mentioned earlier in this meeting, Jeb Goldman has resigned as a member of the ARC, and Don Testament will be the new member. Jeb gave the ARC and the community the benefit of his wisdom, experience, and vision for close to six years, resulting in beautiful, distinctive homes with a truly neighborhood feel. We owe him a debt of gratitude. Now we come to the session. Time for members' comments and questions. Please keep your comments and questions for three minutes. Larry will be the timer. Uh, one at a time, please. Please don't shout out your question. We want to hear you and we want to be able to record what you say. So we give you some type of answer. Are there any questions? Yeah, it's about the uh Rockmore addendum. Yes. Uh, are you are you telling me that Wakama um Increased her rate of pay, and it was not our board that gave her a three dollar raise. No, I'm not telling you that. Okay, but I, I know the facts on it. The, the way it was relayed, no. the way it was relayed, and what you said was that a walk on all wanted to increase her pay three dollars an hour, and contractually we would have to. Right, so we, but yes. that's not the case. No, we voted to increase her three dollars. Right. And you do realize that goes against the covenants that it's for expenses. And an expense of her contract pay. And to give her three dollars an hour was above and beyond that. You don't have the authority to do that. It goes against, even though the Wakama contract says that you can give her an increase in pay, the CCR is very clear about what our assessment is going to be used for. Okay. And it says here that expenses, not because you want to give somebody a raise because they're doing the job, that's her employer's responsibility, not ours. Where does it stop? It should never have started. And I want to see that change. The next meeting what, we have, I would like to see the agenda reversed and brought back to where it was when we had our contract. All right. We yes. have, you said the same thing the last time. We have reported. We have the comment reported. Thank you very much. And we answered it. And that is also, um, was there, I did not see any other one out to see if they were going to be open to the, um, the ARC? Because I didn't see anything posted. Yeah, and we're asking for volunteers yeah. for the uh, not for the ARC, safety and preparedness. I know, but I'm saying that's a committee and if there can be open, was there anything posted to no. say, hey, you know, if they want to okay, so it was a closed back door deal all came out of right? the time. Well not next so I think that I mean wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Let's do you want me to respond to that or do you want to do anything? You put it, I could follow up with you. Okay. As I understand it, yeah. from what I've heard through the years and from less, the modifications committee was set up not only for people with <laughs> modifications, but to groom people to be on the arc. Okay. Mike George moved up from that position. When a position became available on the arc, there was no request for volunteers when Mike moved up. Don Chesterman has been on the committee, he's proven himself on the committee. Okay. okay. So I'm he just has asking. right. No, no, I'm just asking. Just giving you that makes all, sense. all the details I have. Okay. So that side has moved up to the art. So it wasn't okay. a question if we needed knowledge or that's made a perfect time. Okay, thank you. But before we take your questions, Wes, would you comment if you had anything to add to oh, that? Sorry, that's yes. No, no, that's fine. That's well said. Okay. Yes. Judy was on the modification committee. Don was on the modification committee. Yes, thank you. Yes, fine. So there's two questions. Uh, how do you get on the modification committee? Is that a volunteer? Les, I can't answer that. I don't know. Uh, the board did interview um, back, I'm going to say, <laughs> well over about two years ago. I imagine it wasn't before. And um, the members were selected. I understand that. Matt, now that he's moved up, is there a thought on the modification for you? I think that's a question that we will uh, uh, look at because the modifications committee has on it now three members. And if we find that we need a fourth member, we certainly will recommend that to the board to look at uh, filling that spot. Uh, and then one other question about the uh, landscaping. I know you said you were going to talk about 
then you would want to go out and look at the font to see what needed to be done. That's correct. The question, one of the questions that I asked last time about that, which thank you guys for mm -hmm. going out there and doing that, was the fact that I asked if what had been done before was stopped for a particular reason as far as it hasn't been weed eaten this year. It always was weed eaten in the past. Was there a reason did, did the board decide not to do that? I have um, <clears throat> retired perfect. We actually did meet with our last state contractor today. Um, we have discussed in depth about the question that you asked, and it has been addressed. Sadly, it hasn't been. It, from, from our position of communication to today, it doesn't make it happen tomorrow. But with that said, there are new standards for the ponds. There are new standards for the setback area from a water line to what we're calling an 18 inch buffer versus what happens to the ponds from a landscaping position. And that's why I'm riding with Matt and Tom and I are going over with him to review each and every pond on what the needs are right now. And, and we, let's be, lay it out here. We're catching up. There, there are some things that, that fell through the cracks, however you want, didn't happen over a period of time, but we've made them, we, we, we're addressing them, and we know they need to be done. The landscaping contractor knows it needs to be done. Tom communicated with them, and right now we're set to work on this starting Tuesday of next week. And so I'm really excited if we're going to see some real positive things happen with the bonds. Yes. I had a question last meeting about the art budget. Um, I know here you stated that it's going to be looked at in you know, some year. Yes. Um, but I was told the week after the meeting to the to address with you, to you Danny, and, and, and Dan Evans, and you um, guys were busy at the time. So could you uh, enlighten me as to what the outcome of that my question was, or if it was one? There is no outcome to your question right now, Jack. And when we started looking into it, we realized that it was more detailed than we thought, especially for some of our new board members who didn't really know how it all worked. And I'll also include me in that because this was all happened before I got on board. That's why we pushed it to the first quarter so we can give you the answer that your question deserves. Right now we don't have we don't have the best answer to give you. Okay. Can I ask if the new budget is uh, delayed slightly? Can I ask if if that information or some of that information as far as the our budget is going to be on the budget for his people in the community to see what the finances are? I'm not the if I understand your, your question correctly, you're asking is that detail of that money that you asked about before going to be reflected in the budget and you see it and or in the reserve stuff? That's right. Um, I don't think it's going to be and they be correct, it won't be in the reserve study, but but I can tell you just remember the budget's already in place for now. Mm -hmm. What I can assure you is what you just responded that it is being scrutinized closely in the early part of 2023 to give you a better idea. Yeah. But, but the board, but the, the, um, the, well, let me just add, the, 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 budget, budget, yeah. the budget that was approved at our annual meeting for 2023, and that is the board, that's the budget that we will be dealing with in 2023. Right. Um, if there's incidental things happening that wasn't planned on in that budget, then that's what we're going to have to deal with and work through through I, the year. I understand. All I'm asking is that we uh, can see where those finances are going, where the money is going. If you're yeah. taking in 50, who are you paying the 50 out? That's $1,500 per home. Which is right, right, which is which is part of what we need to dig into that can give you a good answer because I don't have one. And none of us have a good answer. But I can assure you it, it's it's been heard, it has been addressed, 
And it is going to be a good one. Well, may I just add one other thing? And that is, if you don't know where it's going, preach that. We have to. I, I, can't, I can't respond to that up to one percent. But we'll work on it. That's the best we can give you. Oh, so thank you. Oh, we have a question from Robert Kosenke um, asking, is there a plan to build a playground? There is no plan at this point. Um, however, we would love to hear from parents and their kids for suggestions of what they would like in the playground. And then we can try and figure out where to put one. That's a little bit more. But the one in the, the space in the water park is really small. And the playground that used to be there was for very young young children, very young. And it was not, not adequate for kids that are younger than maybe fathers, a little bit older. Mm -hmm. So it's something we need to address. Um, we love some input from parents and kids. Mm -hmm. What you want? We're ready to listen. I will, I will mention in, in support of what you just said, the one thing that we've talked about in the board and you keep hearing the thing about a survey, and Gary, you heard the comment about a survey about the fire pit. You know, when these surveys come out, please help us because those surveys are your voice back up. So, this playground is a big deal to the community. It's a, it's a very valid question, but there will be, you know, I'm not getting ahead of myself, but when the, sur the survey will come out to the community, is that a need? Because we can't hear what their needs are and what they submit out. Yes, sir. Uh, we say we want a survey for children. It's simple. They want to fish. It's been said a hundred times. Every kid in here wants to fish. And, and I understand you folks are saying you're going to address this early in the first quarter. I, I sent you the question a week ago. Just to ask, answer some simple questions. So we have some information, what those complaints are, how many, uh, what those are. And, and now we're going to push it again another two, three months ahead, and hopefully everybody forgets about it. But I, I promise you, we're not going to forget. We're not even. I, I promise you, we're not even. We said that we're going to answer something. Yeah, well, well but, but I, I, just, I just want to, I'm just going to say something new. <laughs> Coming from my building, Elmo building, anytime. Um, Longmont built my day. This all didn't happen overnight. Right. You can't fix it overnight. So, all I ask is some patience and understanding as we will do these things to get information back to you that's accurate information and the direction of the community. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm um, just saying that the kids sort of have my brain. Can you speak up? The dog fish pretty much happens over me. That's just a statement. And I just want to say that I'm really concerned that an employee of Wapham Management who did not get an increase from their employer was able to get an increase from the Home Risk Association. Very concerning. That's just me. Okay. Yeah. And I'll follow up on what Lance has said. Could you also get that in the previous board made a decision to get the increase? And now this board has said, yeah, we're sticking with this for now. But there were no reasons given to us. So for those of us, we just know that what we should do, and that's so wonderful. And about the dinner, we should do something so wonderful about the dinner. But how can I tell the employer? Right. So I think what I would love to hear is why? What is it that drove us to give her a few dollar an hour increase? You know, listen, just so we understand. <laughs> Got one more thing to say on that as well. I know last time I mentioned something it affected. I understand that you had the emergency meeting that morning and passed that. Uh, was that reflected in the budget that you presented to us a couple of hours later 
that the membership voted on and passed? No. It was not. So we voted on an inaccurate vote. Is that correct? Inaccurate that it didn't didn't cover that, yes. Yes. And it's illegal. We voted on something we didn't have the facts about. It's illegal. And you knew we didn't have the facts about it. You knew it wasn't reflected in it, yet you presented it to us to vote on. You should be removed. Okay. Oh. Um, a couple of questions. Uh, on the vote, uh, Barry mentioned uh, what you call Barry bumpers. Yeah. Have those been approved or has that been a proposal made? Mm -hmm. you know? No, nothing has come to the board. Yeah. We spend the money. As far as I'm aware, I'm aware of nothing has come to the board. Say again? I say again? I've got any answer. With the dollar amount? Yes. I sent that. There, in, unless something happens, there's always email possibilities. Yeah. But that, that's why I'll, I'll address it and try to answer that. Uh, the request has been put in. In fact, it's actually on the agenda after this meeting tonight to discuss. Um, there is a dollar amount. It's for the finger dot repair. It is for the bumpers. Oh. And, it, and it is also for the ladder repair for the floating dock. Which was a, a, a number that was put in by the boats and docks of two thousand dollars. We, we have been very fortunate, and I just want to go ahead and address that number to you. But we have a better number than that now, and uh, the board still got to take it into consideration. And it hasn't been discussed or voted on at this point. But just to assure you, it is. It has been heard. It's there, and all the documentation has been given. And the second question, that old playground that's in the water park, have y'all discussed how to better utilize that and just sitting there, nothing's being done with Very it? Very yeah. has. Yeah. 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 There, yeah. there, there have been several <laughs> suggestions yeah. brought up of nothing concrete. Now, we'll be the way that we can figure out to see what suggestions it is, this is what I'm not sure about. Some of people ask questions, suggestions, what people think. We go there. As I said, if we're using small we need to think of something else out of the back. We we have better space for for sure. But I, I will tell you that today, Barry's idea with a fire pit. Um, there have been considerations about extending the parking because there is very poor parking available for boats and trailers. Um, it, it's a nice grassed in area right now, but that's all it is. And it has a nice fence that's so complex. So, uh, you know, we are very open to hearing any suggestions to what to do with that area out there. Um, we've discussed within the group a lot of things that could make the water park a little better. And we just need to hear from them. Any questions? Okay. Just uh, want to bring some clarity around this $3 an hour raise for. For Kimberly. Um, there are 43 people either in this room or on Zoom right now. I've yet to hear one person say they were in favor of adding to somebody else's employee out of rate. I've heard people in this room saying they're against it. Um, so I, I think the board should really take note of the fact that the overwhelming majority, at least by the number so far, unless someone else wants to speak the other side of the issue, that the members of this community don't want to see this $3 an hour rate so for somebody else's employee. Thank you. I just say, I think that was very well. Yeah, it, it has nothing to do with her person, really, because I know she does do a lot. It has to do with the fact that we gave someone else's employee an increase. He didn't want to give that employee an increase on That is 
Just why? Okay. okay. We've heard a lot. Excuse me, Mr. Mayor. We've heard all of your responses on that. And we're all pretty much saying the same thing. So I'm going to feel something different to say. We've got to report it. Okay. Not that I don't want to hear it. Again, <laughs> I'd like to propose um, you take and put a fixed uh, basketball hoop up somewhere in the parking lot over by the, um, I guess it was volleyball net there at one point. Mm -hmm. I've been asking that for years. Um, and um, we can take and get a stencil kit ourselves, maybe some communities, and you know, get the paint painted out and have a tap court. And I'm sure, you know, I'm an old fart, and the old fart's never going to stay. But I'm sure, you know, it'd be fun mm -hmm. to have, you know, mm -hmm. some, you know, basketball time here instead of have to go to mm -hmm. some other place. It's not where I'm at. Mm -hmm. I think the kids are listening. Mm -hmm. Well, right. it's relatively cheap. We can do it all ourselves. Yeah. There's no outside contract with you. I can write a record. You cheat. Is there anything else? Okay. Good. The open part of the meeting is now over. Thank you all for attending. I appreciate, believe it or not, I do appreciate all your comments. Very interesting set of here, Jason. You guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.